These small islands that run most of the length of the intercoastal waterway in Bogue Sound are hardly noticeable in most areas, but experts say it hasn't always been that way. Well, these islands were formed when they dredged the intercoastal waterway back in the late 1920s and early 1930s, um, and they originally were you know, probably four to five times the size of what they are now. While the islands were simply a product of the Army Corps of Engineers needing to find a place to put all of the excess dirt from dredging the channel, they've provided quite a few benefits to the coastal waters. Now that they're shrinking, environmentalists worry about the implications that could have. This is like an interstate highway, this federal channel. and It's got intense boat traffic, creating lots of wakes. Um, and that's causing shoreline erosion, the water to be very turbid. So because these islands are here, they, they really do set up a buffer for the rest of the sound. Scientists like Dr. Judd Kenworthy say these islands have given seagrasses the chance to grow, which has in turn created a rich environment for a number of highly sought after fish. They provide the habitat that many of the other plants and animals utilize in our estuary. And of course that produces the base of the food web for things like shrimp and crabs and, and a lot of the recreationally and commercially valuable species that that we harvest. Seagrasses, which are considered a foundation species, also play a critical role in trapping sediments in the water. They, they help uh, filter the water. They act as a kind of a biological water treatment plant by taking nutrients up, storing them, putting them in the sediment, sequestering carbon in the sediment. The eroding islands have degraded so far in some areas that they're gone completely, taking with it the invaluable seagrasses that were behind it. But how do you restore an eroding island in such a heavily trafficked area? Build a sort of living nature-based shoreline between the two points of the island to actually semi close that barrier up to, to deflect boat wake waves and to deflect water currents a bit and then the seagrasses will return naturally. The restoration work is set to begin soon. The mitigation project is just the beginning in terms of what needs to be done. I mean it will address one area of weakness, you know, where seagrass can be brought back 